As you know, we had a 7.3 magnitude earthquake just this morning at a little after 9 o'clock. So uh, your updates. The President is presently coordinating with NDRRMC and the DSWD. He's ordered an immediate dispatch of rescue and relief teams to Abra. The President is also coordinating with the local officials there and all agencies involved in disaster preparation and relief equipment for use all of these have been ordered dispatched by the president he also calls on the telcos to provide immediate assistance and free communication to all locations where the towers have gone down to keep these communication channels open he will immediately fly to the area as soon as the all clear is given and uh, the president and his first family are all unharmed okay questions Yes. Uh, good morning, uh, Secretary Angeles. Uh, uh, Secretary, uh, may, may mga events po ba si Pangulo ngayon? At tuloy po ba yung mga activities niya today? We will have to see. Right now, nakatutok siya dito sa ating uh, disaster relief and response. Ngayon pa lang po dumadating yung feedback natin about the, the extent of the damage in certain areas. So the president will most likely put this as his priority and most likely might cancel certain appointments. Uh, baka na overheard ko lang po kanina, Secretary, yung sinabi nyo. Uh, is it possible na magpatawag siya ng emergency meeting doon sa mga uh, offices na may kinalaman sa disaster response? NDRRMC and DSWD. He doesn't have to meet with them. He's coordinating with them. Thank you so much, Thank Secretary. Ma'am, uh, si Pangulong uh, Marcos po ba willing po siya to release additional funds para po matugunan, especially po yung mga naapektuhan doon sa ABRA? And if yes po, from where po kaya hugutin yung additional if funds? If necessary natin? and if we can source the funding. Yeah. He's at work. At work, yes. I cannot give you an exact location, you know that. Yes, of course. Yes, he is. Next question, Ivan Maina, JHLN. Kung hindi na po sila magtatanong on the quake, I'd like to ask a few questions on the sauna of the president. All right. Uh, uh, may ilang po na po sa sauna, particular ang uh, mga hindi niya binanggit. Sorry, I Minority apologize. senators, apologize. Uh, particular po yes, si sir. Senator Antiveros, pinunang kawalan ng pronouncement against corruption. Si Senator Pimentel, nagaharap naman ng priority measure pagdating sa agrikultura. Hindi rin daw po nabanggit ang federalismo, gayong tumakbo siya sa ilalim ng Partido Federal at wala rin banggit ng war on drugs. Ganito rin po ang mga ng minority congressmen that the SONA was silent on issues on wages and student concerns. Ano ho masasabi natin dito tungkol doon sa mga hindi binanggit ng Pangulo na sa tingin ng ilan ay mahalaga? You know, the President has laid out his priorities. It doesn't mean that he's not going to pay attention to other concerns. This is just the roadmap for his administration. But the day-to-day -day and ongoing activities, these are considered still part of the program, particularly those related to continuity. So just because it wasn't mentioned doesn't mean it isn't there. Ma'am, one more please. Pagdating po sa ilang mga campaign promise at dun sa mga binanggit po niya sa SONA, halimbawa po, sinabi niya that he's against the imposition of new taxes, pero meron po siyang nabanggit na uh, yung pagpapataw ng VAT sa mga digital service providers and in fact he has uh, in his legislative agenda two measures, two new tax programs, itong valuation reform bill at real, pro at real property transaction at mga financial intermediary taxation act. I think that might be quibbling a little, you know, we're at, how do you call this? Uh, it's too fine a point. Uh, the VAT is not a new tax. We're just looking at the possibility that these industries have not been subjected to such a VAT before and that they should be. So it's like, you know, social media and so on must be subjected to income tax. If there is income that is earned, then the same goes for those that are subject to VAT. Thank you, Secretary. So Second last question from Dina Marali, Manila Bank. Is the President planning to visit Africa? Yes, he is. Uh, he will make an inspection of the disaster prone to the, the disaster areas as soon as he's given the all clear, as long as uh, it is safe for him to travel and to do so. Right. Uh, last last one last. Yes. Oh, um, so far, Abra Palampo are, is the president uh, planning to 
uh, go to other to visit other areas that have been affected by the earthquake? It will depend. Let's make an assessment first, and he will go to all those areas where it is necessary that his presence will be necessary. Okay, we will keep updating you as things develop. So this won't be the last briefing for today. Talk upon the call of the president. So in the areas where they have lost communication, so. Um, there is an immediate response to the call of the president. One last question. Yes, ma'am. Yes, so far we are all okay. We've made a, we've been doing a head count. What we're doing right now is assessing our structures to see if uh, any damage has been done that we cannot see. All right, thank you very much. We'll update you again.